Hey everybody! So today we're demoing the Barton Live Rhythm Quantizer. Uh, I'm going to briefly explain how it works and then show you a demonstration patch. Uh, so what this does is it you have a clock input and a trigger input and it takes your clock and using the controls divides it into three different windows. There is an early window which is the time right before the clock hit a late window, which is right after the clock hit, and then a off time or out of bounds window, which is everything else. And it's always recording between your last uh, two clock hits. So if you're changing tempos, you might get a little bit of an off time uh, vibe going to it. Um, so you use these knobs to set the size of the windows. When these are set uh, all the way counterclockwise, you will have very like extremely small windows that they practically don't exist uh, and larger and larger as it goes uh, and then after you've got these windows uh, set you have these uh, switches right here which are three-way switches that determine what happens when a hit happens in one of those windows so all of them work the same way uh, or they have the same three options uh, in the center it is off, so if a hit happens during that time window, it's completely ignored. In the top, it's on, so it's just passed through immediately if a hit happens during that window. And then on the bottom, it's delayed, and the module remembers that a hit happened, and then it will output something on the next clock input. Uh, and so with this, you're able to kind of control the level of uh, accuracy that you're going to have in the unit. And also, if you're... The thing is designed, uh, was initially designed just to be used for, with a live controller, like a drum machine, uh, or that, maybe that's not a good example. I'm using a drum machine today through the MIDI quantizer that I'm just hitting the pads on. But like a keyboard, or an electronic drum set, or a wind controller, or just uh, whatever you've got uh, going around. Uh, but to make that be more on time with your clocks that you're using, just basically to help suck the humanity out of... Uh, electronic music because you know if we would all play acoustic guitar if we wanted humanity um, so I've got a little patch set up here uh, my drum machine is going through this MIDI converter the output of the MIDI converter is going to the input of the LRQ the output of the LRQ is going to this decaying analog noise which is making a little hi-hat-ish sound and then the clock is coming from my BMC 004 uh, clock slash divider which is in another rack so it's uh, off screen and then I've also got the uh, clock divider, another output uh, going to this uh, analog drum here to give us kind of a rhythmic frame of reference. So uh, I'll go ahead and first show off. It is just completely ignoring everything. We're not getting anything off this light, even though that light is moving around. Uh, so let's try it set up so that uh, we've got our off time hits delayed and our early and late windows are on. So this should just be getting outputs exactly on the beat. You can see I'm, if you look at this light here, I'm putting way too many hits on and they're being ignored. So now I'm gonna increase the size of my windows so some of those erratic hits get added to it. So that lets it kind of liven it up a little bit and gives you a little bit of control over how much soul you want to suck out of your playing. Um, and then you can also do things like turn these two off and turn the out of time or uh, the offbeat thing on. So then you're only going to get uh, uh, kind of syncopated upbeat hits. Alright, uh, and that's all I'm going to do because I'm running a fever and I feel awful. Thank you for watching. Uh, BartonMusicalCircuits.com is where you can find more information about this module. Uh, thanks a lot.